I work as a developer advocate at Google. My primary job is to kind of work with our large partners and work on technical uh, integrations and work with our product teams to improve our products which are developer facing. I regularly write software. Uh, we, I'm part of the engineering ladder, so yes, we are expected to be hands-on with code. Right. So do you love coding? Oh yes, yes. I am very much in love with coding. I still do it regularly. Well, I started very early. I was about 12 or 13 when I started coding. Oh. Uh, and it was always fun for me. Uh, I wrote more code than I played games, I guess, at that age. So it was it was always fun for me. At age of 12? Yeah, I started off pretty early. I had good mentors, so oh, that's, <laughs> that's the way great. I would put it. That's great. So uh, with which uh, programming language you really started? I started with C. That's the mother of language, yeah, right? Yeah, C was where I started That's off. Great. Well, I went on to do my engineering and after that I started working in a startup and then moved to IBM. Uh, so, I guess it was a logical progression for me after engineering to kind of uh, take up a job which paid for it. I wanted a software engineering job itself and which was particularly in coding where I, I found, I felt more comfortable. So, I just went ahead to do that. If somebody is to design a social app, in which areas participant needs to search out those things. So the first step would be to identify a problem that you want to solve in that community which that community would accept as a value add to them and then use an app uh, as a medium through which that solution can be delivered to them. So identify the problem would be the first step for me. But gathering that data uh, will give you insights which will help you uh, define that pain point really really well. Because you are not that audience, if you're not part of that community, it's very difficult for you to kind of understand the pain point of the community and be in that shoes. Uh, so it is best that you interview people who are in that situation and then get the data to decide on the problem. Exactly. So that was Mr. Amrik for you. Thank you Mr. Amrik for your time. We were honored to have you here. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun too. Thank you. Thanks, Oka. Oops. I'm so sorry. That was an alarm. <laughs>